Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video today. I hope you are doing well. I hope your day's treated you kindly. I hope your whole week's treated you kindly. Uh, we are here for another instalment of the Horizon Forbidden West saga. And we are now going to talk to Studius Vladius, however you, you, you pronounce his name. And then we're basically going to go and get this ceremony started. So let's go. You heard the whistle. Time to go. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightbodies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Chop chop. Some cartridges are just stuck up their own ass, mate. Well, now that that's done. The embassy can finally get underway. Right, let's go and crack on with this embassy it. now. I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy of backup. Guess I could head straight go to the Baron Light. Light. Or I poke around the dance some more first. What are we doing? And maybe take Petra up on that drink. Yeah, we'll take Petra up on that drink off camera. Because off camera we'll go and do some side quests and everything like that. I could get around faster and find a charger to override. I can override one of these chargers. I have to go on quiet so I don't spook the herd. Yep. Right now, let's get out of it. Don't know which way Baron Light is. Well, oh, it's this way, yeah. Let's just go this way. Where is this? Where is this charger taking me? Come on, bro. Sweat out. Got a full circle. Oh, we're going the right way now. Yes, my. Here we go, Baron Light. Last part of the Sundom before the Forbidden West. Carja Horn. Alright, I should find whoever's in charge here. It's a bit of a loud horn. Free supply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around too. There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. Yeah, we'll leave Erend alone. Lighten up, Pai. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Why? Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. Why is this one smiling? Where is this Commander Nozar then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high strung. We'll see about that. Come on, let's go. Got places to be. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. We cannot tore yeah. down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. 
The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yeah, Come on. Well, I'm sure Olven was thrilled. He, he won't even let me pass. Stand aside, soldier. Sir. Thank you. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> oh. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> We appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Oh, Yea, for as the first shall be... Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? Two. <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh's horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely Down not. Time. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Let's fall. He's had a shave! Look at him! Check him out! Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. Sir, it's the savior. I don't care if it's the dowager queen herself. The gate stays sealed until that horn blows. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Barl. Hi, Aaron. Uh... What's happening? I ain't on the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. <laughs> you think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. Yeah, you did, bruh. Tribe that Murad told us about. Yeah. Pick a smash stuff quickly. West? Yeah. Well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in. Yep. Just no more politics. No more delays. Because we're cool. Oh, well, that. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. That is the line between east and west. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parlay or not? 
The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding for Shav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You'll have to forgive my comrades. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. Oh, it's a long, long talking scene. You asked why I need rite of passage. Maybe I would just cut it short. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs, and I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this. ...to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important... ...and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner! Who's that? Marshals. Taro. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Ah. Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet... ...aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Karja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No! The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait, bro. It's all cool. It's all cool. The Karja have opened the gates. a big chest. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today, 
is such Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanak! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless <laughs> threats to intimidate us. Exile. Oh. Lancers, form up. Well, that bristle back still works, mate. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav, come with us now, or oh, not at all. Archers, light them up. Get to cover! Ah. Oh, no. Start doing some damage. They're not gonna make it. Open the gates. Open the gates. Open the gates. Oh, no, not for you, mate. I've been ripped a new one, bro. What happened? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Calm down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! Yeah, you want to one beat one. Archers on the ridge. Oh, give, give me all of that, thank you. Yeah. Here they come. Headshot! Coated! Yeah. Whoa! Another one down! We can win this! Oh, we don't. 
too quick. Why are the battles going too quick? Nice. No! Oh, nice! Bro. Chief, <coughs> grant me the honor of this challenge. 1v1 me, bro. Granted. <laughs> 1v1 me. Did you get KO'd by a kick? Come on, Varl, you could do better than that. You're next, girl. Yeah, come on then, Sunny Jim. I never seen a shield like that. Better stand. This battle is done. I can break through the shield if I can't get enough. I gotta get through that shield. Yeah, we will, mate. That's it. Now's my chance. There we go. Give it up. Hey. Come on, Varl, get up. Man, who wants some? Who wants some? Your turn. Come down here and face me. No. It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Are you scared? Comrades. Mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals. Slaughtered the Karja. So begins our war on Hikaru. Ah! Move out! Yeah, you're next on the hit list, Mush. You're going down. Come on, Val, get up. Oh, that's Hikaru. Get him to the camp. Now. You're gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort.
the farm. It's salvage time, boys. Take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. Aloy. We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav, a massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong. Home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. Find a way. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asaram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Nah, mate, we're all good. I've Time to go. On my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks, mate. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new around here, click the subscribe button. Like the video if you liked it. And come by next time for another installment. Keep smiling, stay positive, and peace.